Oh um, my god, I thought that was a blunt and not a, <laughs> I was like, that's just too Just cleansing big. the energy. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> and Hi. Guys, oh my gosh, okay, so I'm just gonna get teary-eyed saying <laughs> I think that this is exactly the kind of movie that I wish I had as a little gay boy, and I'm just so happy that young LGBTQ kids have it right now. <laughs> that's so nice. I know, me too. As a kid, could you have imagined a world in which a movie like this existed? Yeah, I mean, it's like, that's kind of why it seems a little bit like overdue now, but you know, we have like a bunch of really rad stories, like fringy independent films that I grew up with that weren't, <clears throat> that didn't like lack in joy or sort of um, splendor. Even um, Clea's movie that I love so much, but I'm a cheerleader, like by the end they're very much together and happy and run off into the sunset. Um, but that's a tiny little movie and not everyone's seen it. And it's so nice to think that like, you don't have to um, go out and search for this movie. It's being, it's inviting, it's warm, it's open. And um, yeah, how cool like that, you know, I was like into strange movies when I was little, that's not like the most normal thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, but I'm a cheerleader is seminal and it's iconic, but it is also, I wish it was, bigger and this is so that's rad so you know clear yeah exactly i mean this is a big year you guys are kind of part of a queer christmas movie movement <laughs> this is like yeah. lifetime hulu hallmark there's a bunch of them coming out what hallmark's is doing a queer really? movie for christmas oh really no. oh, yeah, all... but we want to be the only one <laughs> no 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 we're the first no i'm just shocked that hallmark is doing that they um, yeah. are historically not progressive yeah, well, this is the new <laughs> day, isn't it? Yeah, is it exciting? That's so it's cool. cool. Do you know what's cool is now they have to be, or else they get left behind. That's yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh my God, I thought that was a blunt and not a, <laughs> I was like, that's just too Just cleansing big. the energy. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, and <laughs> it's been a long day, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, Kristen, this is a this is a big deal to a lot of LGBTQ people. But to you, what is the significance, in particular, that you are an openly queer A-lister playing a queer character in a major studio queer Christmas movie? Um, it's really fun. <laughs> it's like uh, I love playing characters that feel sort of further away from my natural wheelhouse because I like to expand my horizons and also kind of like deeply explore uh, sort of unchartered um, territory within myself that exists, but might not be the most obvious. But what feels great is leaning fully into what's easy and obvious and comfortable when it is supported and recognized and like loved. And I've never had that on such a big movie that people were willing to put so much money into because that is a huge risk. And like the fact that people are taking risks for, well, I mean, look, it's not a huge risk. It's that the time calls for it and there's a huge gaping desire for it. And that is something that I feel because I live in this world. And so the fact that I got to play this part after being in so many sort of like big movies where I was always, I never feel like I'm not being myself or like trying to pass or anything like that. Um, but I do feel like I'm um, ambitious about hitting marks that people don't think I can hit. And so this one was not that, this was the opposite of that. It was like, no, no, no. I get to be the star of a big movie and also be this person. Yes. Um, it felt great. Yeah. yeah. I was reflecting on Runaways a bit as I was prepping for this. And I remember a lot of talk about your kiss with Dakota at the time. And it seems so like dated to be talking about a, like a girl on girl kiss at this point. And obviously you two kiss in this movie, but with Happiest Season, do you get the impression that people and the press are less like, oh, like a gay or lesbian kiss. What was that like? And is that a relief? Yeah, nobody's oh, asked God, yeah, it hasn't things. been brought up. Um, yeah. yeah, that feels, I mean, you know, culture's moved so fast after not moving at all for a very long time. <laughs> but in the last <laughs> like 10 years, it feels like just so much has changed. Um, but no, not at all. I mean, I, I no, nobody has like thing. been, nobody has like fetishized it in a, in a way that like it for sure was, I have experience with that being like, so tell me about the, like, especially depending on who it's coming from, you sit down with like 
some news outlet man who's been a news outlet man for like 50 <laughs> years. And you're like, don't ask me that. Wow. That's yeah. so weird. It makes me feel really weird because oh my God. The, <laughs> like, yeah, we haven't had that. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to change the subject so badly to when Matt Lauer asked Anne Hathaway about not about having a picture when she wasn't wearing any underwear. And it's like <laughs> the absolute worst moment I've ever witnessed, <laughs> even prior to all of this stuff. <laughs> Or anyway, sorry, not part of the interview, but just ooh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I'm wondering since this, even though this is Clay's story, I mean, it's obviously relatable to a lot of queer people like myself. Um, what parts of this Abby Harper dynamic of coming out and self acceptance did you identify identify with the most? Is there a particular scene? Um. Uh. Yeah, I mean, like, look, doing things that are really normal and natural to you physically and then having to sort of curb those instincts around people because you don't want to make other people uncomfortable. And so you are willing to make yourself so uncomfortable um, for other people's benefit is something that I have done probably still. I went on, I tried to go on a houseboat trip recently and it was like in Northern California, like around Lake Tahoe. And it's like a real Trumpian area up there. And I was like, we got to get the fuck out of here. I was like holding my girlfriend's hand, just walking around genuinely being like, we are truly uh, like, I'm not saying every single, what I don't even know what I'm saying, but like, I didn't feel safe. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And oh, yeah. uh, I don't, I don't mean to imply that I know where that would have gone, but even just emotionally, it was like vi a violent experience. And so like in the movie, um, it's really nice to be able to laugh at certain feelings that are more heavy uh, because when you repossess and then sort of like release a feeling, it feels cool and triumphant and sort of like I've won something back. And there are things in the movie, just little moments where we have to drop each other's hands or even though we know we're lying for just a brief period, the life hurts. And um, <clears throat> yeah, that I've never gone home with anyone and had to lie. I've never specifically had to like sort of keep myself in a closet like with a person but all of that as like somebody who's grown up um queer not to put any like whatever limits on my own sexuality I've like I've dealt with that forever and like that's triggering but uh specifically it's all it's all very sort of like just the just the general experience of being gay and thinking that maybe people think you're gross or weird is something that is like nice to laugh at in this environment <clears throat> Yeah, um, I I was really curious because in the film you're at a gay bar with uh, Ben de la Creme and, and Jinx Monsoon performing. Um, what's been like the best time you've had at a gay bar with or without a drag queen and both of you? They're the, even before I knew I was gay, even before I had a girlfriend, I was like, oh my God, this is the most fun I've ever had at a bar ever. Why are you all the best people? <laughs> yeah, being just like <laughs> female and experiencing men at bars and then being in a space where you can like be completely Dance. unleashed and not fucking worry about anybody touching you or approaching you or coming up behind you is um <laughs> especially when I was younger it was just such a safe like incredible feeling and felt very free and also not worrying about how you looked because nobody wanted to fuck you mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know yeah. I don't know how I actually don't know like what the sort of like a general perception of like gay like I don't know what the gay culturally gay reaction would be to like straight girls or girls know, that just I'm... aren't there anyway but no but it's really nice because even like you know I don't want to you never want to take up space where you like don't belong but it's typically not an alienating group not to generalize and it's like it's such a nice feeling to go into uh, a queer bar and be like doesn't matter whatever like no one's coming for you and yeah so it's yeah I, I, I remember that too yeah, it is a uniquely liberating experience. They're giving me the wrap, but I just have one more question. And Kristen, it's for you. After playing queer in Charlie's Angels and now in Happiest Season, do you plan on continuing to radicalize conventional genres with queerness? Basically, will you continue trying to actively make Hollywood gayer? Yeah. Yeah, naturally. Yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, like, it's funny when you start like, <clears throat> just applying sort of restri restrictive rules on who is allowed to have what perspective. I still want to play straight sometimes if that's okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, and, but, but I will say that primarily 
it's really important for me to really pick and choose those opportunities and not have it be the default given setting that someone is straight in a movie when maybe it's not a romantic movie. If it's not about the romance, then why am I playing straight? You know what I mean? It's like, cause it's normal. Okay, well that's a ridiculous idea. So it's just, cause in, in Charlie's, I didn't have any romantic, I had no one in the movie, but I just, I just thought it was important to just drop an Easter egg and be like, no, but like, that doesn't mean I'm, that doesn't mean you can have me boys. <laughs> um, okay. They're telling me I got to go. Um, I just, we're just going to, we're just going to Palo Santo that last answer. <laughs> Please smoke it away. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> thank you soon. Um, hey, um, this has been a shitty year. I just want to say thank you to both of you for making this movie because it has made me so entirely happy and I cannot wait to watch it with my mom. And I can't wait Aww. to say that I can watch That's it. That's so nice. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Take care. Bye.